Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and in this video we are going to cover the tool Marker. We will see how to install it locally and then how can we convert our complex PDF files to Markdown, JSON or HTML format. We already have covered this Marker tool when it was released around 7 to 8 months ago as you can see on the channel but for the purpose of this video we are going to install it again because there have been a lot of improvements around it plus they also have a new graphical user interface backed by Streamlit which we will be installing and trying it out on our complex PDF file which I will also show you. If you look at the GitHub repo of this marker it has come a long way certainly but the good thing is that they are not trying to do everything in one place they are keeping to their promise of doing only PDF to Markdown or JSON HTML, which is quite good. They're not trying to deal with Word documents, PowerPoint, and a lot of other things, which I think makes sure that the quality remains there. We already have covered similar tools like Docling, Markdown, Nougat, and few others on the channel. If you're interested, you can search on my channel. But this marker tool only deals with PDF as I said and deals it quite nicely and I already have covered the comparison of this tool with others. Now not only it deals with PDF but it is sort of a pipeline of deep learning models that extract text. It also does optical character recognition from PDF if necessary plus it detects the page layout and find a reading order. The good thing which I really like about Marker is that it produces a clean and format formatted block from the PDF and then it combines those blocks and post processes a complete text. And it does use some of its own models behind the scene but only when necessary. So it is quite easy to use it on your CPU machines. GPU is not mandatory here. If you're looking to use it commercially, there are some licensing constraints, but most of the time it is quite liberal. For example, if your organization has uh, $5 million USD in gross revenue or under, you can use it for, I think, uh, for some period of time. And then um, there is a lot of other liberal concessions which you can <clears throat> check on the GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in videos in description. Now, we all know that PDF is a tricky format. So mark marker will not always work perfectly. For example, it will only convert block equations. Tables are not always formatted 100% correctly. If you're dealing with a lot of tabular data in PDFs, this is not the tool. Use Doclink for it, much, much better. And then especially, uh, and also if you're using forms on PDF again, doesn't work, Docling works quite nicely. So very, so if you, so here is a decision tree. If your PDF contains lot of tables, lot of forms and complex one, marker is not the tool for you. Other than that, <clears throat> simple PDFs with some of the basic tables and forms, not, not a bad tool at all. So let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU. So do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system. <clears throat> and for full disclosure, I'm using the GPU uh, sponsored by Mast Compute, which is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's try to install it. I'm first creating this virtual environment with Conda. And next up, I'm installing the CUDA so that if there is a GPU usage, it is going to use my GPU. And then most importantly, I'm installing Torch and Torch Vision. If you don't have a GPU, you can skip the first two commands and only install Torch and Torch Vision. This is going to take a minute or so. And now let's install marker PDF with Streamlit and it's a simple pip command that installs all the auxiliary things including Pydantic and few other stuff like DQDM on our local system. 
So let's wait for it to get installed. And you see that it is quite lightweight, shouldn't take too long. And the installation is done. Let me clear the screen. And you can then launch the GUI of marker by just running this marker underscore GUI. And it is going to open the Streamlit demo on your browser. First time when you run it, it takes a bit of a time to initialize. So let's wait. And you can also check it out on here. You see that first time it also downloads these models. You can also check it out here that load model module is running. It's not, you can see that the model is <clears throat> not that big. And there you go, it took around five minutes to download everything and our market demo is running. Also, let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption to see if, how much it is consuming on my GPU. So just close to three gig of VRAM. It is using what, as I said, you can run it on CPU easily. Okay. so. It's very, very simple, straightforward. On the left hand side, you can browse your file and the file size should not be more than 200 MB. You can, of course, select multiple files. Now the file which I'm going to use for it is this. It's a Doclink technical report and the reason why I have selected it is that it contains some of the well-formatted text, some scientific notations, images, and also some tabular data and few other stuff like annotations and references. So it's a good mix of different sort of things which we can expect in a PDF file. Nine pages. So let me select it, it from my local system. I think it is in my my files, PDF, and this is the one. And you can see that it has loaded the file on the right hand side. And then it is saying that this will um, going to convert it to the markdown. Now you can go with the whole stuff zero to zero, or you could just even give it some of the pages like zero to zero to five, zero to 10 and all that stuff. You can select the format to JSON or HTML. I'll just go with markdown. You can force OCR and then, you know, it will just do OCR on everything. I'm not doing it in this one. And then maybe I'll just say, okay, Let's go from zero to five. How is that? And then I will just click on and press enter to apply. Okay. Let's go here and let's click on run marker. It is running as you can see on the top. It already is doing this. There you go. You see how cool is that? And how quick is that? This is your markdown format zero to five pages. Let's go there. So it has done the basic table too images too for that and then all the references how good is that how good is that really really good stuff and then next up i have selected the json format let's click on run marker and then you can see on the right hand side it has created it the json format with all the data and everything it's quite huge so this is more useful for if you're trying to run it for the uh, programmatic data set generation or something like that. Similarly, you can select it for, for the HTML and then you can click on marker again. It is running. Let's wait for it. There you go. So this is our HTML. You can open it in the browser to see. There you go. How good this looks. And for this one, it hasn't given us the images. That is only for the uh, first one, which is a markdown, really good stuff. And then if you're facing any issues, you can, um, just select this debug. It is going to show you the debug. So now let me run HTML with force OCR to see if it is able to do the images or not, or if it is only for the markdown format. Let's wait for it. I'm letting it run so that you would also see the speed in real time. There you go. So let me scroll down. There you go. So images are only on the markdown. But other than that looks really cool. I don't see any issues there. Table, table format is also there. 
good stuff so you see looks really cool to me and i think it has improved a lot also not only in gui you can also use the cli with it you can even use it in your python code quite easily and i already have covered that in my other video which is a second video as you can see here as how you can use it with cli so hopefully you enjoyed it let me know what you think about this i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching